We're recording. So what do you guys think of when you think of heroin?
but the most stronger one is heroin. Okay, how it works. Okay, so heroin is and endorphins, we actually have them in our brains. When scientists found out about these, they got really um, surprised because why would our body have something that's kind of negative? But it's not really something bad. It's what responses to us when we're in pain. When we're in pain, we don't really usually feel it at the beginning because these opiates, they're like, this is how they communicate. They go from the synapse to the um, receptor, and then that's how we like, feel pain and kind of like releases the pain, it makes it a little less, um, a little more, you, you have control over it kind of. And then it also um, slows down dopamine. So it slows down the dopamine movement, which is like movement. That's why people get like tired when they're taking morphine, when they're getting out of surgery or anything. And then heroin, it works the same way as the natural opiate in our body. Opiate, which, um, goes through the synapse and then into the receptors and causes us less pain. <coughs> Which heroin does the same thing, but it causes it to be much more effective. To the um, for example, this is how this is how high our normal levels are. And then this is how much the heroin does it. So that it's this high where it's like you don't even feel pain, you like you get into this nausea and it's like Eventually, um, the process in the brain slows down for using a lot of heroin, and then people get addicted to it because since this is how much we have of the opiates in our body, and it transfers like it just happens naturally. But then when you take it, you get you start getting addicted to it because once it gets into this high, after after the effect slows down, it goes down so much more lower that you have to take much more heroin to get it up to at least this. And then when it goes up to that, you still feel um, less pain, but then you still have to feel that euphoria that heroin gave you. So you take much more levels, and then it gets into a point where, where heroin <coughs> is only taken to um, slow down the withdrawal effect of it. <coughs> it goes into a point where you don't have control over how you feel. You get muscle spasm, you get sweating, and then to a point where your body stops making opiates and endorphins, and it has like no effect at all. So you take much more um, portions of heroin, and it has less effect. So you can take twice as much as you took first time, and it will give you this much effect where it only makes you feel normal. That's why people get addicted to it. much how it goes and then do you guys have any questions? Um, can you go over how what neurotransmitters are and how they work again? Okay, so neurotransmitters these this is how they work. They go through the synapse and these are the cells and the receptor receives them and we get muscle movement, we feel emotion, we feel hunger, we feel arousal for those neurotransmitters. Do you guys have any more questions? Yes? Can you tell me what dopamine is again? Dopamine. Dopamine is what controls movement. And after using so much heroin, you don't have any control over your body movement because your dopamine levels drop. So you have muscle spasms. Yes? Can you explain what serotonin is again? Uh -huh. Serotonin is what controls Food and hunger, and it influences also arousal too. So, serotonin levels, um, we get hungry because our serotonin levels drop. And once we eat, we get um, high serotonin levels, so we feel kind of happy, and our brain rewards ourselves with the um, levels of dopamine and serotonin by giving us, when we, when we have chocolate, for example, we feel kind of happy because we get this high levels of dopamine and serotonin because it rewards ourselves. <coughs> and that's how heroin does it. How do brain cells communicate? Brain cells communicate by sending neurotransmitters through the synapse into the receptors. Yes. What is the, stru the structure of heroin? The structure of heroin is C21, H23, and 
and O5. It was made by scientists to be less effective than morphine, but it turned out to be more effective. And this, this picture right here shows the actual structure of heroin. Thank you. Do you guys have any more questions? Thank you. Yay.